All right, thousands of dollars have raised, has been raised to help the victims of last Sunday's wildfire that damaged some 11 homes. And today, a benefit was held today for those victims at Jack Allen's Kitchen in Oak Hill. That's for Fox 7, Sarah Talbert's joining us live with more. Sarah, how's that benefit going out there? It went really great today, James. About 250 people or so filled this patio, all showing support for the families who lost their homes and those who are struggling since the fire last week. One victim telling us she was humbled by how the community has rallied behind them. It's a scene Oak Hill residents won't soon forget. Flames reaching into the sky, taking with them homes and memories. Lily Henrik remembers seeing the flames behind her house and then running through her home, grabbing her dogs and whatever else she could. And a policeman was right at my elbow uh, and he was yelling, go, go. And the fire was just coming over the hill and down the street. Uh, and that's the last I saw my house. Sadly, she is one of the 11 who lost her home April 17th. She also doesn't have insurance, but she is thankful she and others didn't lose their lives. She's also thankful for this. Hundreds of people showed up Saturday to support Henrik and the others devastated by the Oak Hill wildfire. Jack Gilmore, who owns Jack Allen's Kitchen, sponsored the event. It affected a lot of our, our employees and it affected a lot of our customers and our community and we wanted to give back. Around 250 people attended Saturday's event, including Ward Tisdell, who had a big presentation, a $5,000 check. He is with Advanced Micro Devices, a neighboring business in Oak Hill. 30 to 40 percent of its local employees live in Oak Hill. Besides the $5,000 donation, AMD will also match dollar for dollar any donation one of their employees makes. We know this won't replace what happened uh, to, the, uh, to the victims of the fires, but it's a little bit that we can do to help uh, our neighbors in Oak Hill. Red Cross says any donations, large or small, are needed. Many who lost their homes didn't just lose clothes, they lost the ability to move forward. They need a license to write a check or to get into somewhere or fly on a plane. They need papers to prove that they own their home. And you really don't think about those things. And we are set up to help them with uh, getting those replaced. Uh, we're happy to do it, but it is absolutely devastating. And for some like Henrik, the devastation has been hard to handle along with accepting help. Your pride has to take a back seat because you do need help. You have to accept that you need help. And it's awfully hard. But she is nonetheless thankful for the help from her friends, family, and even strangers. Now, if you want to help, you can always send donations to the Red Cross. You can also log on to our website, myfoxaustin.com. The Austin Disaster Relief Network, they are also helping the families taking any donations, including Lily Henrik that you saw in the story. We're live in Oak Hill, Sarah Talbert, Fox 7 News Edge. Thank you, Sarah. Good to see so many people out there helping out.